Hello, hello you people. YouTube man, how do you do? Well, it's in the morning and we are heading to this place here. Maxwell, yes, Maxwell Food Center. So, shall we go ahead and get in there and see what there is to eat in the morning? So, yep, Tanjong Paga area and over here is Maxwell Food Center part of the Chinatown area and we are coming here to get some food some breakfast so in the morning a lot of stars are not open yet if you come too early but one place that we can go to to eat is this place here called Zhen Zhen Porridge they sell porridge yep. so porridge A popular place you come here uh, slightly later there'll be a long queue but you come early uh, not much of a queue but still the food is good so this is the menu i ordered their century egg and chicken porridge cost me four dollars which is a very affordable price and also a generous portion too you get that a nice big 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 bowl of porridge and look at that on top of it, you have some uh, deep fried uh, the shallots and then also some of those preserved vegetables and then they pour in some soy sauce, some uh, probably sesame oil and then also the century egg, you can see there some uh, thinly sliced uh, ginger, some chives that's just what you can see on top so this is going to be my porridge, my breakfast they will be in my tummy soup but before that, let me just show you around. Let me just show you what's in the porridge. You have all the condiments on top there that I mentioned earlier. You have century egg. And then the porridge, look at that. Ooh, and then also slices of meat in the chicken. I also bought the egg, so an extra 50 cent for the egg. So I just broke, broke the egg yolk and now I'm going to mix in the egg yolk into the porridge. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. And look at the porridge here, it's so thick that um, when I try to stir it, the bowl moves around. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Nice thick porridge. Very smooth, the consistency, the rice grains all broken up, nice and thick and definitely looks very comforting. Now also looks a bit eggy, a bit creamy. Mm. This is going to be a very, 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 from the looks of it, very good porridge. I just cannot wait to dig in. Yes, cannot wait. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh. <laughs> Speechless. A huge, a full spoonful of hot orange that you need to blow if not you'll burn your tongue. Oh, 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 oh yeah, oh yeah, that is good man. First of all, texture of the porridge, nice and smooth, velvety slides your through your tongue into your tummy giving you warm giving you a nice comforting cut from the inside mm -hmm. that was good flavor rice flavor wise nice and savory definitely a nice eggy flavor from the egg yolk and egg in there mm -hmm. then the flavors of the ingredients too done very nicely savory comforting uh, Texture of the porridge hugging you, giving a nice comforting feel. And then the ingredients. The century egg texture has a nice texture to it, together with the meaty chicken combined with the crispiness from the deep fried shallots. And then the flavor also from the preserved uh, vegetable adds in there. And then you also have uh, the Ginger, even though I don't like ginger, this ginger adds a very nice kick to it. 
and then now you eat it together with the chili. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. The cut chili, even though it's not too spicy, but it does add a nice kick to the porridge, which is very, very, very satisfying. So what you have is definitely, definitely, first of all, a nice interplay of textures. The texture of the egg yolk, the, sorry, the uh, century egg, together with all the other ingredients, the, the chicken, the softness of the porridge, and then all the little the condiments there, with the ginger, and the, gives it a nice, uh, and also the chives also give it a nice, vegetable texture to it. Definitely the texture is very nice. Definitely not your usual porridge which is just a very uh, one note kind of texture thing. Here, multiple textures, then the flavor, savoriness, overload, the egginess from the egg, the porridge, then the preserved vegetable in there, gets, adds in a nice flavor. Overall, all very good. And then if you want to add in some more, if you like spiciness, you can add in the cut chili. The cut chili adds in a that extra little thickness of spice. Boom! That just adds in an extra layer of yumminess. Mm. I think they do the porridge here very, very well. If you do like porridge, this is definitely, definitely a place you have to come and eat. The porridge here, they do it very well. The owners here are a bit elderly, so um, I don't know how long more they will be making this dish before they retire, but come here while you can and eat this dish. The porridge here, do it where they do it very, very well. As you can see, I am definitely enjoying it. Yup, 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 yup. Comforting, yummy, delicious. A good start to the day, a good breakfast. Actually, this place only open for breakfast, so any other time you come, I think they close by early lunch. So if you come too late, uh, no porridge for you. So come early. Yes, yes, unfortunately we finished our food adventure here today. We are done eating at this place here, Maxwell Food Centre. So as per usual, you know what to do. Like, share and subscribe. I got lots of videos where I visit all the different food centres in Singapore, exploring Singapore's food culture. You may be interested in that, check the playlist. And I will join you for my next adventure. See you all around. Bye bye.